Conference Policy and DCTV18 Exclusive uh, and Didi Rati of Grassim joins in to talk about the takeaways of that. Mr. Rati, morning. Let me pick up first the point that is most important for the market right now about liquidity, sir. Do you see the liquidity situation for most corporates as having improved? I mean, slightly, not at all, uh, quite considerably. Which camp are you in? I think the question is to be replied in two parts, Mr. Ali. One is, do you have the liquidity in the system? The reply is obviously yes. A lot of liquidity had come into the system because of release of funds by the central bank through SLR, CRR and other measures. Now the key point is whether the liquidity with the borrowers has improved or not is the key point. Now to some extent I may be illiquid because I haven't seen uh, with me any time any liquidity crisis or crunch. So maybe I don't feel the pain of liquidity or don't realize the pain of liquidity but I think the issue of lending is still quite paramount. Bankers and lenders are generally shy of lending and they are keeping their rates up. So while the system has got a lot of liquidity, the pertinent question is still remains to be responded that do the corporates are able to raise the loans or the, do the industry is able to raise the loan at a reasonable price. I think I would say that it has not happened so far and those who need the loans most are finding it difficult to get the loan and it is definitely you know crisis of confidence continues bankers are not assured that whether they will be able to you know i mean uh, avoid npas in the process of lending mm. morning mr rati uh, you may not have mm. faced a liquidity crunch uh, but 2008 uh, access to capital was a big problem for a lot of companies do you see that changing in 2009, both from the banker's point of view in terms of debt and also, importantly, access to equity capital, which dried up completely in 2008? I think my reply would be with caveat. Uh, domestic funds availability has certainly improved a lot. When it comes to foreign funds, the liquidity is dried up. Uh, excepting for portfolio investments, where you have seen some positive signals in the last one or two months. ECB is very difficult to raise. Fate of FCCB is not known. Uh, no big uh, foreign bank lenders in the Indian market. And uh, above all, again the same question, that would the environment change where the confidence with the bankers will come back and they will start lending? Having said that, now let me move to equity part. Of course, I am not very good at you know, responding on the equity side. But I think the environment is still not turned in favor. We are confused about valuations, whether the previous valuations was higher or whether today's is much lower and whether the corporates will go ahead and raise the equity and whether the investor will come back and invest in equity, fresh equity, is really a question which I think we'll have to wait for a few months before we find the answer. But I think debt, domestic debt fund position is quite comfortable. Uh, Foreign debt position will improve only when the global situation improves. There is nothing much which India can do about it. Actually, there is a net outflow. In fact, inflow has reduced substantially in these markets. I think that is how I'll put it. Mm. Mr. Rati, the other curious takeaway seems to be on the question about demand or business outlook showing some signs of revival. I mean, there's a very slim majority over there that says, yes, just about 25%. And it's sectors like yours, cement, where the market has taken most heart from in terms of a revival in demand. I think cement revival is good uh, for various reasons. I think you have done a lot of interviews on that, and I won't take your time on that. It's because of rural demand picking up, people trying to you know, complete the projects and restocking by the people. I mean, all those factors put together, plus a lot of infra spending by the state government pre-election. I think these things have boosted the demand. Now, you know, at the same time, I have to recognize that a lot of supply will come in in course of time. So while we see good demand currently, uh, and I see no reason for degrowth, but next year's demand growth may be uh, not as good as we initially expected when cement industry was putting up the capacities. I think most of the people think it will be 6 7%. Now, if you take other sectors, I think only few sectors can claim where sustainable demand growth is there. I think by and large, I mean, people are not very clear whether this demand growth is sustainable in the nature or permanent in the nature or it is just momentary. Again, 
the question which is very important as compared to demand is that look in last two two and a half years there is enormous amount of capacity build up cement for example has built up almost 60 to 70 percent of the capacities which they build in 60 years in two three years now this was in the hope and expectations that gdp growth will be double digit which is unlikely for the time being so i mean the question will be how these capacities are going to be absorbed and that would decide our future capex plans mm. you put your finger on the crux of the problem uh, mr rati and uh, that's the question everybody is asking on whether the pickups that we have seen in the last 2 3 months in the economy from the october december period whether that is just a temporary kind of spike led by things like election spending or coming off a very a period of utter pessimism in the october december quarter or do you think that was the worst quarter from which we have turned and every su- successive quarter from here on will be marginally more positive than the quarter which went by what is your own es- estimate of that i think you you have put it very analytically you covered almost every probability which can take place uh, if i had been you know very alert i would have noticed one of them and replied to them but let me put it in my own way uh, you see i would be inclined to believe that perhaps worst is over with the q3 of fi09 but to reach the kind of growth we had in fi08 or say first three quarter of fi07 i think we are going to take time i mean the optimism perhaps prevails or has come up because you know we have seen the worst in q3 where everything was looking so bleak that nobody was even prepared to think that you know we'll start improving so my own belief is that yes things have started improving but it is not going to be you know very quick recovery in uh, that every quarter you will see you know a step up growth and all that uh what i would uh, like to say that look india will be among the front runners when asian recovery takes place and when global recovery takes place we will be better off as compared to others but we won't be what we anticipated a year back and that's where the problem lies you know you have put in large capital investments at a time when you know economy just turned bad and uh, most of it can be attributed to global scenario but you know we perhaps government will have to take once a good government is in place and all that lot of steps to boost the demand to boost the infrastructure to bring back the confidence manage the fiscal deficit and sort of those things mm. let me ask you a question that's not part of this poll mr rati i mean we issue, uh, we did consider the liquidity issue but we didn't really talk about the leverage issue aside from liquidity in the system or liquidity availability for india inc would you say a lot of the leverage problems have been cleared out with the end of this financial year or do you think that's going to be a lingering issue as well no you see some question which you have to do more research you know what has happened which would reduce the leverage there has to money one is that you liquidate your inventory second you raise the fresh capital uh, i think these are the two things which can happen and i think accepting clearing of inventory from the pipeline the other things haven't happened so far so maybe that liquidity issue is handled because it has become lot more easier to raise loans now at a price as compared to october last year i think at a time when you know when you face so many operational risks it will always be prudent not to raise you know more debt and leverage your balance sheet and then you create additional financial risk i think leveraging in the system does continue uh is not visible it may be visible somewhere but unless you have the equity raising unless you have a lot of i mean profit generations it would be difficult yeah in course of time as you generate the profit and don't leverage your balance it will get deleveraged mm. you've seen many business cycles uh, mr rati but uh, are you getting that feeling at the pit of your stomach that uh, we have seen the worst of this down cycle and while it may take 3 4 quarters to get back to some kind of semblance of stability by 2010 we'll be on our way up again or you're not getting that confidence sitting here today i think you are being too exact for me to respond a uh, one part i would agree that perhaps we have seen the worst perhaps we have seen the worst and if the management from corporate sector industry and government is tightened perhaps we will keep on improving but now whether it will take four quarters or whether it will take six to eight quarters is a very difficult call to take but i think nobody will subscribe that we will come out of entire difficulty in less than four quarters but 